All right, so this is gonna be a quick tutorial video on how to make, uh, you know, how to enable FPS counter in Steam, Origin, and MSI Afterburner because that's what I use to benchmark all my videos. So yeah, let's uh, let's just straight, straight get into it. So for Steam, it's pretty simple. You just go here and then where's Steam? Yeah, right click on it and then you go to settings right there and then you go in here in game now all you gotta do is in game FPS counter you can just see right here you turn it to top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left it's up to you so yeah that's you do any of these and then click OK and uh, after that you can possibly see the game FPS counter and I'll show you so you go library and then okay whatever deep rock galactic I love this game though by the way this game is amazing it's a blast to play different also so you can see right here in the top left corner the game shows the FPS so that's that's how you do it on Steam and uh, let's move on to Origin I'm gonna open the origin and then yeah it's right here so originally when you open up origin it's gonna be like this so you what you wanna do is go to origin and then you go to application settings that's how you get to this window and then what you gotta do is go to origin in game and then all you gotta do is uh, display FPS counter right here it's the same thing as Steam and yeah that's how you turn it on on origin so you know if you have if you have to test out Dead Space the new Dead Space remake or something you can do it I don't have the game yet I'm kinda of broke right now so that's why I don't have I haven't even benchmarked that game on my RTX 2080 yet so that's that's one thing so that's it that's how we do it on Origin, and then the last and the final one, MSI Afterburner, which I use for all of my videos. It's easy. This, so this is the MSI Afterburner uh, user interface. So all you gotta do is uh, go to settings, and then uh, you go to monitoring. And th this is all where this is where all the magic happens. So you can basically tick mark everything you need to be in your uh, overlay so what does this mean like in OSD means like if you click on this and you wanna make it in the overlay the on screen display you gotta tick mark this and then you click on this so this will be in the overlay from next time okay so that's how we do it I don't need that right now so that's how we do it so you gotta basically tick everything that you need in your overlay or enabled and then all of these tick marks means they are enabled for on screen display it is not activated unless you click on this so that's how you do it on MSI Afterburner and then your on screen display you can toggle it on or off with whatever key button you want to assign it to so that's how we do it so once you have this set up it should automatically be in this Reva tuner statistics server this is this is automatically installed when you install afterburner if i'm right so that's how we do it so in here you can adjust your just the size of the of the text or whatever you want with it there's a lot of customization that you can do with it so this is all the customization for the on-screen display so that's basically it so these are the three ways to quickly show the FPS counter in your games so if you wanna make a benchmark video yourself you can do it now so yeah and Afterburner is absolutely free you can download it if you just search for it on the YouTube or on the internet MSI Afterburner so it's right here MSI just download Afterburner uh, these cookies and then you can get it just like that that's like a direct download link so there you go that's it 
And uh, yeah, that's that's all there is to knowing how to enable FPS counter on your videos, on your games. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next benchmark video. And let me know in the comments what you guys want to see me benchmark next. All right, peace out.